Hello fellow YouTube traveler, welcome in, my name's Kagan. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Stairway to Heaven. Have you ever heard of the Stairway to Heaven? So this right here is the Stairway to Heaven, and you can see this is a helicopter tour, more than likely somebody paid for a tour to go up there. And there's the stairs. You can see the old metal structure, like the old rusted out metal stairs all over the place. There's probably some wood mixed in with that. Um, and they lead all the way up the spine of this mountain and it is quite a long distance i think there's over 3,000 stairs there from what i understand and some of it's falling apart some of it's kind of derelict because obviously it has not been maintained because i mean people were not supposed to be going up there starting in like 1987 i believe they stopped letting tourists go up there like legally anyway uh, but people have been doing it obviously the entire time and this thing this staircase leads all the way up the entire spine of this mountain all the way past all these draws and you, you take one just keep in mind like you take one wrong step and you're gonna fall to your doom like like mount doom like like we're talking like casa dune like the mines of moria right and as soon as you get up to the top there's like some structures left over from the where the navy the navy had constructed buildings and then you got a little bit longer to go up this next spine here and by the time you get up to the top you reach it up. To, you reach up to the uh, the radar tower, the old radar tower, and you can see the entire island from up there. But this isn't the only way to get there. So fortunately, well, the stairway to heaven was built during World War II by the U.S. Navy, and it's been there ever since. But starting in 1987, it was officially closed to the public because they were concerned, like the the Honolulu City Council were concerned that it was dangerous and. They didn't want people going up that way. And also in order to get there, you had to illegally trespass across private property, go through a fence. And this was all usually done under the cover of darkness, even when there was like a security guard. Now I have a lot of friends that did this. I'm not encouraging you to do it. There's actually a back way to get up to the top of where the stairway leads. And I'll get to that shortly. I wanna explain what's going on here first. So it's actually referred to as the Haiku Stairs. And it's, and it's a landmark in Oahu that people have been visiting constantly. It's all over social media. It's on TikTok. It's on Instagram, all that stuff. It compri it's comprised of 3,922 steps, twisting through a 2,800-foot mountain trail in Kaneohe in northeastern Oahu. Now, in 2021, the city council of Honolulu decided that they were going to have this thing destroyed because, like I said before, a lot of people were trespassing across the private properties of the people that live down there in Kaneohe at the base of the mountain where you have to enter uh, the staircase from. And again, like you have to cross over private property. You got to go through a fence hole. There's there's always a security guard there and they just want to stop dealing with it. I'm sure that the, the people that live in those houses are probably tired of having people cross over their property without them knowing it, like in the wee small hours of the morning, because people would park their cars down the road and just like all the locals knew like how to kind of get around the security that was there. You're still crossing over people's private property and I'm sure that they got tired of seeing random tourists crossing their lawn at two, three, four o'clock in the morning all the time. So like I said, the city council voted in 2021 unanimously to have the stairs removed. And they said that the work's gonna take about six months and cost about $2.5 million, according to the mayor's office. They said that this decision that was made was predicated upon our respect for the people who live in and around the entrance to the stairs, our respect for our Aina, land and sea, and our respect for both the land, or both the future and the past history of the culture of the high community. According to a release, a range of factors influenced this decision, including they wanted to prioritize public safety, they wanted to seek to stop illegal trespassing on the stairs and ne nearby neighbors who have dealt with decades of disruptions and disturbances, and it addresses the significant liability for the city, while also preserving the natural beauty and condition of the area and improving the quality of the li of life for the neighborhood residents of that area in Kaneohe. The location of the entrance to these stairs is right over here i'll show you it's like right up there that's the entrance on google maps they're already in the process of tearing it down so to backtrack a little bit in 1942 like i said the u.s navy began construction of the haiku radio station a top secret facility that was used to transmit radio signals to navy ships that were then operating throughout the pacific in order to obtain necessary height for the antennae the navy stretched them across haiku valley a natural amphitheater some, rain, some remains of the wooden ladder are still able to be seen besides the metal scraps. The radio station was commissioned in 1943 
In order to transmit such a powerful signal, the Navy needed a transmitter of greater capability than possible with vacuum tube technology at the time. So therefore they decided on a huge Alexanderson alternator, which was a device capable of generating powerful low frequency radio signals and required a large antenna. So that's why they had to put it up on the top there. At the time, uh, Marine Corps Base Hawaii was Naval Air Station Kaneohe Bay. So it wasn't a Marine Corps base at the time. It was just Naval Air Station. Um, but by the 1950s, they turned it into uh, Marine Corps, uh, sorry, transferred to the Marine Corps as Marine Corps Air Station Kaneohe Bay in the 1950s. Uh, the, U the U.S. Coast Guard even used the Haiku radio station for an Omega Navigation System station. And when you get up to the top and you go inside of it, um, there's actually like graffiti all over everything, but you can, you can go up in there and like the, the antennas are all still up. Like the satellite stuff is all still up there. Um, the dishes are all still up there. I should say it's pretty cool, like for sure. But so the coast guard apparently allowed people to access it in the 1970s, but they stopped after, a, after an appearance on Magnum PI increased the visitation of the site. The station and trail were then closed to the public in 1987. They've been closed ever since, but people have been going up there constantly, obviously, because you see all the videos all over social media. But here's the good news. The good news is that there is another way to get up there that's safer and is legal. And I'll show you exactly where the entrance is on the map right here. Right over, yeah, right over, right here right there so you got to be around the south western side southwestern side near um near tripler army medical center there's a there's another neighborhood and there's like a park with like an actual entrance that you can enter there and it's a legitimate trail like i've hiked it multiple times myself when i was stationed out there and for those of you that are stationed in Hawaii right now, because I was stationed there from 2014 till 2019, so I did the back side. I never did the front side of the stairs because it was just a little too sketchy for me, and I didn't really feel like trespassing or breaking the law to go up there because I just, I'm paranoid. I don't like to do anything that's risky like that because I just, you know, I'm maybe it's just because I'm old. I don't know. But I did the back side, which is legal, and you're allowed to do that. And the parking area, is right there back in the neighborhood by army or tripler army medical center and uh you can hike up it's a little bit longer it's like a full day event so you're gonna want to pack a lot of water like i would bring like a couple liters of water per person just in case so like a camelback uh, maybe bring some chow with you some like you know good to go bars protein bars whatever some snacks maybe some sandwiches or something um, and you can still hike up to the top and uh see there's a picture of me and some of my friends right there when we hiked up to the top and there's the satellite dish and all that stuff uh unfortunately when we went up the one time that i actually managed to go all the way up uh with buddies of mine it was foggy so we couldn't see all the awesome views that you saw in some of these other videos that have been showing throughout this but um it's a really cool spot if you ever get an opportunity to check it out, if you're stationed there or if you visit, do it the legal way. Obviously, the the, the other way is going to be destroyed by then, so you're probably not going to be able to take that way anymore anyway. Um, and yeah, in general, if you're stationed in Hawaii, you should be getting out and hiking because like there's tons of incredible hikes to do out there. Recommend the All Trails app. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but that's what I used the whole time I was out there. And they have all the locations of like every trailhead on the island. And you can find tons of really cool things to do. Tons of waterfalls, all kinds of stuff. But I mean, I had tons of friends that did the the stairway, you know, from the front side in Kaneohe. And I just never, I just never did it myself. But um, I did get to do at least the back way. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully this uh, provided some insight. And hopefully this gave you some guidance if you're stationed out there and you were looking to do this hike and you didn't think you're going to be able to still. Well, you can still get up there. You just have to go the back way. It'll take a little bit longer. Maybe you want to get there at like nine in the morning. It's probably a good idea because it's going to probably take like, I don't know, three hours to get up, three hours to get down, something like that. And you are going to be hungry when you come back if you didn't bring any chow. So bring some chow with you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And then we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.